our first fight is Carl Dargan. You saw him coming into the ring, and there's Ivan Delgado from Los Angeles. And he comes in, tail of the tape. Dargan is 36 years old. He hasn't fought in a long time, too. First fight in over two and a half years. Coming out of Philadelphia, decorated amateur, 19 and one. Uh, he comes in 5'9 at 137 and a half. Delgado also 5'7, the shorter man in the ring. He's only 31 years of age. So a uh, big comeback night for a number of fighters, including Carl Dargan. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen from the Prudential Center here in New, New Jersey, Premier Boxing Champions presents the FS1 PBC Fight Night. Introducing our judges, scoring from the ringside, we have James Kinney, John McKay, and John Signorelli. All right, fans, here we go. Eight rounds of boxing scheduled, super lightweights in the ring. Introducing you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with black trim, fighting out of South Central Los Angeles. He weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. With a record of 13 wins, three losses, and two draws, he has six wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Ivan Stryker Delgado. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and representing the concrete jungle. He weighed in at 137 and one half pounds. His record, 19 wins, one loss, nine wins coming by way of knockout, introducing Carl Dynamite Dargan. Head referee in charge now to give instructions. We have Harvey Dock. Okay, guys, we just went over the instructions. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. If you want, touch gloves now. Come out at the bell. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, Joe, if you give him the choice. That's a new one. If you want. Uh, if you don't want, all right. Actually, just say touch gloves. And you know, some refs actually make you touch yeah. gloves. Yeah, he's not well, going you, for you that. You can't get away. All right, if you want. Maybe that's the COVID uh, protocol. I, I don't know. Ivan Delgado is a tough man. You can see him right there. I've seen him before. Carl Dargan was trained and mentored by, for many years by the late Nazim Richardson, who's an outstanding trainer, was his yes. uncle. And the loss of brother Nazim Richardson last year uh, to COVID actually really derailed his career as he was coming back. He just didn't have the heart to fight, but now he comes back and Joe Goose, and he hasn't fought in two and a half years. Yeah, and, and look, I mean, you're bound to have a little bit of rust on you if you haven't fought in two and a half years, but right right out of the box, you know, uh, Dargan looks sharp. I, I like the way he's popping his jab out, getting his hands back. He's very focused looking. Um, so, and look right there, I mean, uh, you know, Delgado is, you know, Sparta at my gym against John Molina. He's a tough guy. He's known around Los Angeles to be a real tough guy and a, and a good fighter. So, uh, so we should have a good fight tonight. Well, thank you. That's Len Casper right there. We welcome those of you who just watched the Twins beat the Cardinals. And for those of you still on FS2, you can switch over to FS1 for the remainder of tonight's card. And welcome to Newark, New Jersey. And Brian Kenny here with Lennox Lewis, Joe Goose, and Heidi Andral as well. This is Carl Dargan versus Ivan Delgado. Like a Dargan in the uh, blue trunks with the yellow. Good body shot there by Delgado. You know, Delgado can fight, right? He's not yep. the slickest boxer. Dargan is the slick boxer. Yep. But uh, Delgado, I saw him in fight against Romero Duno in 2019. He was overweight, not in shape. But, man, he went after Duno. He could fight. Well, just a second ago, Dargan threw a right hand, and Delgado threw a quick left hook. He's got a really good counter left hook, and it comes quickly. And he'll, he'll jump in with that hook to the body and counter you off a right hand with his hook right behind it. So... You know, he's a sharp guy. He's a good fighter. Both of these guys are very well schooled. And Dargan, but Dargan shows good defense right now. I like the way he keeps his elbows in and coming back with his punches. And, and they're very sharp, too. Sharp and straight. Delgado able to land that right hand, though. Landed it twice to the head of Dargan. Uh, Dargan, again, a, a celebrated amateur. He is a two-time U.S. national champion, was a Pan Am Games gold medalist. That's back in 2007, though. He is uh, 36 years old, so again, he's on the way back trying to get sharp, uh, but he's in tough against Delgado tonight. 
I like how Dargan just sco ooh, That was boy. a little low. I like how Dargan scooted in without doing anything, just to test, see what would happen. It's well, an old school move. Well, I think he was trying to get away from that left hand to the body, be a little closer to to uh, yeah. Delgado, so you know he's not receiving the punches from a that, long way that, off. That might be very well true, but he's uh, he may be 36, but um, he, he he doesn't look that old. He looks like he's in his 20s, and he, his physique is still good, and his reflexes are good. Dargan, I'm speaking of. Oh, big right hand by Delgado. Went right across the front of the face of Carl Dargan. Back in Newark, New Jersey, Ivan Delgado, Carl Dargan. And I mentioned it was September of 2019. Ivan Delgado there in the white and black trunks was taking on Romero Duno. And in that fight, in the main event, fellas, Ryan Garcia, his opponent fell out. Everyone thought that Garcia would then fight Duno, and he didn't want to take Duno. So that's the respect of Romero Duno at the time. And then El Ivan Delgado went in against Duno, overweight, not even close to being on weight, looked like he hadn't been training. But I tell you, again, he brought the fight to Romero Duno that night. He eventually got stopped, but he went in with, Joe, I would describe it, a full fist fight. You yeah. know, he went in and brought it. And look, you know, Delgado's one of those guys, he's well-schooled, whether he's in shape or out of shape, he's gonna be dangerous, he's gonna give you a fight. He looks to be in really good shape tonight. Yeah. And both of these guys are excellent uh, fighters. But I gotta tell you, the counter-punching ability of uh, Delgado was something else. But right now, Dargan is really using his good jab and some movement. That's a wicked body shot, but I guess it's a little low. Uh, maybe not. Thought Harvey Dock was going to talk about it being low. Now there are part of his uh, his waistband there that could be a legal shot. It, it's huge though. The, no, yeah. Well, that band, you know, the, the the waistband is just huge. But but again, Harvey Dock knows where the line of the demarcation is between a low blow and something off the belt. Wow, Delgado brings it again. You wonder, look, Dargan is a classy boxer, but you wonder, Lennox, can he withstand this pressure from Delgado? Yo, know, Delgado is doing a good job throwing the body punches, but he throws them, you know, not as often as he should. He, he, he's so affected to the body when he throws them, you know, they look good. So he should go on the right side as well of uh, Carl uh, Durgan and try and catch him on the other oh, side as well. He's only trying to catch him on one side. The right well, hand there lands from Dargan. And then a counter left hook by Delgado right after it. That's especially, you throw a right hand against Delgado, he's gonna counter you with that hook. But the thing is right now is Delgado's having a hard time getting by that great jab of uh, Dargan's right now. Nice Dar right hand Dargan. to the body there by Dargan as well. Dargan's left jab is very good right now. He's throwing doubles, triples, right. you know, he's throwing to the head, he's throwing to the body, and this is what you have to do. Well, you can see it, Lennox, he's a classy boxer, but Delgado, again, he's a fighter. And that's a nice, sharp jab, just bringing the head back of Delgado. Well, he's got a lot of guts, Dargan, sitting on the ropes against a guy like this. It's really not where you want to be, but he's got that much confidence in his abilities that he feels if he's moving or stationary, he's going to get the better of uh, Delgado. I tell you, this is an excellent fight. Final yes. 15 seconds of round number two. Imagine that. This is opening things up here on FS1, and uh, right away, uh, just an excellent fight. The return of Carl Dargan. Again, out of the ring for two and a half years. Ten. Ivan Delgado said he wanted a disciplined camp so he could come in ready, and he does indeed look ready. Let's go to Heidi Andral, Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Car Carl Dargan said he probably was the only one not in diapers in his family that didn't want to become a boxer. It happened when his mother punished him grounded him, said he couldn't leave the house unless he went to the gym. His uncle, as you mentioned, brother Nazim Richardson, got wind of that punishment, said you'll either sit in that chair or you will train. He was seven years old when that happened. That sparked his career. We mentioned his uh, his his uncle, who was such an instrumental part of that family. We have a photo here, as you can see, there's his uncle, brother Nazim, up in the, in the left corner up there in the black jacket. Of course, uh, on the right there, that's the late Bowie Fisher. In the middle, you'll recognize him, that's Bernard Hopkins, 1995 when he won his first IBF title. And right down there in the bottom left-hand corner is Carl Dargan. Now he said losing his uncle in July was very difficult for him, uh, July of 2020, but he know, does know that he's with him. He hears him when he's sparring. And while he said he was nervous coming into this fight, he knows his uncle is guiding him here tonight, Brian.
Heidi, thank you so much. And if you were on the scene, you know, 15, 20 years ago, and you saw a lot of Nazim Richardson training Bernard Hopkins, training Shane Mosley, and just a good, good man. Uh, and a great strategist. I have yep. to tell you, that photo brought back. Oh! oh my Carl Dargan puts oh. Delgado down. He's out. He's out. He's Delgado has a lot of fight in him. He stands back seven, up. Eight. You all right? Walk to me. Walk to me. Right here. Walk to me. Walk to me. Walk to me. Let's see. Harvey Doc's going to let him go. I tell you what, Ivan Delgado is a tough, tough man. But can he withstand that? Another uppercut from Dargan. Beautiful pinpoint shots. Delgado fighting back, trying to move with everything he has left. And he still looks shaky on his legs a little bit. Oh, no question. He was rocked, dropped. How he even got up that quickly shows you how tough this guy is. Amazing. Dargan bringing it oh! down. There he goes. Puts him down with the right hand. I think Harvey Dock's going to stop this. That's it. Delgado is just too tough for his own good. You know what? That was, that was a firefight and a good yep. stoppage by Harvey Doc. Delgado is hurt, and what a tremendous win by Carl Dargan coming back. Delgado got up way too early on that last knockdown. He should have took a couple, he should have took the count. But yeah. he's, you know, the, the, the heart that he has made him get up so quickly. You know, sometimes when you get hurt, your instincts tell you to get up and not necessarily what you should, you know, the right thing to do. By the way, real, this, here, here's yeah. something shocking. That, that's the first knockout for Carl Dargan since 2014. 2014? Yeah. And look, how about that knockout? That's a highlight reel. Hey, he, he looked sharp from the get-go yeah, he did. with his punches. Yeah. Like I said, he didn't look like a 36-year-old. In speed, reflexes, body type. No, he looked really good. Look, look how happy his corner is, too. Oh, I'm happy for them. Yeah. The truth. As much as we, we love all these fighters and the effort they put into it, Delgado as well, you, you got to be happy for but, but everything it, he's been through. You know, it, it's more exciting, too, because that man right there brought it. Yvonne Delgado didn't yeah. come here to lose tonight. Oh, he didn't no. come to New Jersey to lose. He came from South Central L.A. He came to bring the hurt to Dargan, but he just got outboxed and dropped. Listen, he put Dargan on the ropes. Then he was punishing him with some body punches. He was punishing him with some uh, head punches. But the problem is he left himself open and he squared up against the ropes. Let's see it again. Now, this was something spectacular. Here we go. He's just teeing off with punches right now. Yeah. And while, while he was teeing off, Dargan came up with that beautiful right uppercut, caught him flesh on, yeah. the, on the chin, and put him down. It's like we talked about earlier. He, he, he felt comfortable stationary or moving because he's smart. Okay, He was well-trained. And a two-time na national champion, yep. amateur, you know he can fight. But he waited that out. He blocked, 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 and threw that right uppercut. Here comes uh, probably uh, the second knockdown. Yeah, here it is. And you're going to see Delgado get backed up, and he's going to catch a right hand right there. And another one, and one more right there. There it was. There oh. was the big one. Uh, he probably got that, hit with four or five that, solid that right hands. That there. took a few combinations, Joe. It yeah. <laughs> Dargan's got to work for that. Dargan, hey, he didn't rush it. He took right. his time, and he threw the right punches, and he shortened up on his punches. Most guys usually get wild in that situation, but he didn't. Uh, his uncle would be proud. Brother Nazim, again, outstanding yeah. trainer. We lost yeah. him last year, but Carl Dargan, his nephew, came back in style tonight. Uh, I tell you what, that was an exciting firefight. Carl Dargan back with a splash against Ivan Delgado. Let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, nine seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Harvey Dock, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Carl Dynamite Dargan. Carl Dargan said he was anxious and nervous. He said very nervous. He's been gone for two and a half years. Former national champion, Pan Am champion. By the way, Harvey Dock did a good job too. Harvey Dock uh, enabled Ivan Delgado to continue. He said, walk toward me, get back here, let's go back through it. This was just an exciting boxer versus puncher fight, Joe. Did a great job. There's that block and counter. See, that's an old move. Just throw up the left hand as the right's coming and counter. It was right on the chops. And how Delgado ever got back up, but he did. 
Lennox, he got right back up. I mean, as fast as possible yeah. from this. But, but, but you yeah. saw how beautiful oh. uh, Dargan set that up with those, like, three little slips, you know, little blocks and turns and twists, and then finally countered with that right uppercut. Wow. That's sweet stuff. Let me, no, let me tell you, nobody wants to get hit like that with an uppercut, and he received that well, and he, you know, he dealt with it. He dealt with it well. Here's the end of the fight where he hit him with some tight right hands straight on the chin, and, you know, it's hard to get up from a shot like that. Jumps right back up. Well, that's a man who's fought yeah. before. Well, you know? not just that. That's, <laughs> no. a man, that's a man with a lot of heart and will. and yep. willpower. Yeah, absolutely. No right. question. And that, look, it's lights out, and yeah. yet he is back up immediately and willing to fight. Although, yeah. again, I believe Harvey Doc made no, absolutely I mean, the right call. Har Harvey Doc knew what he was doing there. He gave him a chance after that first knockdown. But that was enough. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Second time around. Uh, here's what we look like. <laughs> well, that got our attention. All right, that's enough of us. Let's go to Heidi Andrew on the ring, Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. He, he's been sitting here watching the replays of, of you guys, of his <laughs> of his handiwork out here in the ring. Congratulations to you, Carl. We had a wonderful conversation this week. You told me you were nervous, you were anxious, but you heard your uncle in sparring, and you knew that he was going to guide you here tonight. Did you hear him? First, I would like to uh, say all praises due to Allah. Um, I would like to thank... Uh, TG, TGB Promotions and Al Hammond for giving me the opportunity, you know, to, you know, showcase my talent, you know, after many years of me being off. But, um, yeah, you know, um, I came out in that, in this third round, and my, my trainer was like, hey, he's being a little wild. So when you get, if you get on the ropes, don't get deep in the ropes. And he said he's going to throw a, a left hook. When he throw the left hook, he's wild with it. Throw the right uppercut. And as soon as I seen it, I threw the right uppercut, and he went down. When he went down, I don't know if you can see me. I looked at the corner was, and went in my eye like this. <laughs> you, you knew. You knew. And you said when he got back up so quickly, that was street mentality. That was hard. Yeah, you could, of course. I think any other opponent would have stayed down. You know, and I think it would have been best for him to stay down because that would have been a – he could have saved himself. You know, because I'd rather – a person should rather get knocked out than getting battered and beat up. Definitely. In terms of, of being away, you were away for nearly two years. That was your first knockout since 2014. What was the game plan coming in here tonight? Did you did you know you would finish him? The game plan was to just be me. Just be me. You know, um, my new trainer, uh, Hamza Muhammad, and my assistant trainer, uh, Wahid Rahim. You're doing a good job, Wah. You're going, doing a good job, Wah. You know, they, you know, they've been around me since I was a kid. You know, they know me. So they know my capabilities and know my um, my strengths, you know. So it's, I'm like a, a car. You don't got to just give me a tune-up, you feel me? You don't got to change nothing about me. Just add little things to me and get the job done. And they know what I can do. 36-year-old fighting like a 26-year-old. Congratulations here tonight. Brian, back to you. I you tell you, he, he, he looks slick, looked ready to go, classy every step of the way. Uh, he said, you know, I didn't want to box at all after I lost my uncle, but one day I woke up, felt like I was 13 years old again, and he comes back after two and a half years and gets his hand raised here in New Jersey. Congratulations.